This is Robert Peeler, the community manager here at Unbroken Studios, and I am talking with, let's see if I do this right, nope, there we go, I'm talking with Eddie <laughs> Rojas, the design director here at Unbroken Studios, and we're doing a remote work from home dev diary video, that's right, video format, trying to <laughs> up the level, raise the bar, so to speak, and he's going to be telling us uh, a little bit about his experiences as a design director, uh, making video games, and that's kind of the point of these dev diaries is we want to get a little bit of insight into what it's like to develop video games, uh, not just on a regular basis, but on this very particular unique situation that we all find ourselves in, so. Uh, well, you're putting me on the spot there. I'll yes, of course I'm on the spot. You're being interviewed, that's the whole point. All right, so let's. Oh, jeez. I'm gonna go into the fundamentals of design. <laughs> yeah, I wanna see some charts. Do you have some charts? Do you hope you prepared a presentation because I'm relying on presentation. You. Yeah. Awesome. Why don't you first tell us a little bit about how you got started uh, in this industry. Kind of my career just started to really blossom at Pandemic Studios. Nice. Um, and I was there till like about, I was there for like five, six years, to like about 2008, 2009. Uh, a lot of the people that work at Unbroken actually, um, a lot of the studio heads that I knew from way back in the day called me and they're like, we're at EA, come join us, blah, blah, blah. And that's nice. how I kind of teamed up with those guys. It's underestimated how um, getting along with your peers and just being a genuinely good person and a hard worker goes a long way because mm -hmm. um, someone just enjoys working with you and they move along to something else, they'll, they'll remember that they enjoyed working with you and they'll be like, oh, that person oh, that was would a good be person. great on Let's this project. Yeah. yeah, exactly, you know. Don't be a uh, jerk, everyone listening yeah, don't be a jerk. Don't no. be a jerk. There's no room for egos here. No. <laughs> well, there is, but not that many. In other studios, <laughs> maybe, okay? But, you know, from our own experience. <laughs> but now you're a design director, very lofty position. You have a lot of responsibilities here at Unbroken Studios. What are some of the things that uh, you're in charge of? Um, you know, it's more, I'm more at a high, I'm, I'm more managing features at a high level now. Um, I'm noticing that I'm not in the editor as often as I used to be as early as like last year, um, which is bittersweet. Like on one hand, I love doing editor work and focusing on combat and weapon tuning because that's where I ended up afterwards and kind of like what I became really good at. Uh, kind, kind of, It ended up being my expertise and I love doing it, mm -hmm. but, um, but it didn't give me the opportunity to see game development at a much higher scope and higher level. Um, so a lot of my job now is um, reviewing a lot of work that's going in from, you know, the design team, from mentoring, so on and so forth, just making sure that uh, the guys are feeling all right, that they feel good about the direction of their tasks, that, that they're clear on the goals, and, uh, and then also to make sure that I keep really good communication. That communication needs to stay strong between both sides. So. A lot of my job is always like giving reports, like mm. this is how we're doing. And mm. then also um, asking the guys and constantly poking them like, hey, how, how are things? How are you doing? Is there any blockers or anything I can help you with? I'm trying to be the type of manager that is not a micromanagey type of manager that causes you stress mm. and, you know, and is super um, uh, demanding. Mm. Um, I'm trying to I'm trying to let my guys you know make mistakes when they make mistakes and learn from those mistakes and let them pitch me ideas on how they feel that the job should be done and then I'll come in with a lot of questions if I don't believe in that methodology or or if I'd rather them do it some other way so um, you know you gotta let you gotta let people spread their wings a little you gotta it's a creativity them. field you gotta let yeah, them be exactly creative, right? so. nobody wants to be told exactly how to do things every time yeah. like that's, that just takes the juice out of your soul. In the studio, we have a studio. I don't know if you guys are aware, we actually recently expanded <laughs> it as of the end of last year uh, into a whole new wing. So we added more space and more employees to fill that space, uh, expanding on our project work. And, uh, we have a new kind of unique situation here uh, from a Broken Studios having to work from home and handle all this work uh, remotely. I was a little apprehensive about um, what this would do to the development, the game development aspect of, 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 our, of our work. Um, I was just worried that, you know, maybe, you know, um, distractions were going to be a lot easier to come by. Um, communication was going to be much harder because, you know, 
we're not going to be next to each other in the same office, which always makes things a lot easier. But yeah, so I was really worried at first, but um, to my surprise and, um, and you know, I, I was extremely impressed with how the team just, and not just the team, but like all of the studio, all of them broken, um, kind of rose up to the challenge and they were, that transition was so smooth not just with like our operations team that was there for us whenever we needed them. If, if, if someone needed a chair, if someone needed like a mouse, if, some, if someone needed a camera because they didn't have a camera, like our operations team was just like, they were so on it. We set up pretty quickly. We got to work pretty quickly. Um, our engineers figured out any of the logistical issues with getting builds and, and, uh, and uh, play tests and all that stuff. Like, it was just it was it was just pretty awesome like i couldn't have expected it to go as well as it actually did i even heard the the rumor floating around the engineering team is more effective this way <laughs> maybe we'll just leave them home like yeah they don't need to come to work it's fine it saves some well space. you know i don't want to i don't want to like generalize or anything but i think they're in their environment <laughs> around nobody, nobody's bothering them. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, I'm, I'll, I'll take the blame myself. I'm the one walking up to them being like, hey, what's that? Oh, show me more. Oh. <laughs> take all your work from the studio and you're not bringing it home. How's that been a uh, transition for you? How's that metamorphosis been? Um, you know, it was, it's, it's been good. Um, it's crazy to see how effective a video conference call can be just as good as, a, as a, you know, as like a regular office meeting. Mm. But I'm finding that like the day's actually going so much faster and that by the end of the day, I'm not even realizing that it's the end of the day. I'm going like one or two hours over and going, oh, wow, it's already 730. It's already eight o'clock. What do you miss about going into the office every day? What do you miss about uh, being in that environment? I mean, that's easy. It's definitely definitely the people. I mean, I, I see everyone through video, but um, but I just I just miss the office environment. Um, you know, uh, we had a, we we were all very professional and did our jobs and worked really hard, but we also had a lot of fun. Mm. You know, um, I get a lot of message. I'm the Friday donut guy. I bring bring donuts in every he is, Friday, he is the Friday, and donut I get guy. messages on Slack every Friday. Yo, Eddie, where's my donut? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you know, I I, I kind of miss it. I miss like you know hanging out, having that coffee in the mornings and donut with my co-workers and talking asking them how their weekend went and how their day's been so i don't i don't i don't call robert it's like hey robert how was your day been <laughs> gosh i wish you would though eddie i guess <laughs> i'm i'm really excited about both projects um i know i can't say much about them right now but like both teams are so focused on making sure that they're bringing their A game and that the quality of the game is as high as possible. And we got really good people on both projects right now. And so it's just very exciting. Thank you, Eddie, for cool. uh, right. talking with us about design, about uh, starting yeah. out in the industry, about working from home, about <laughs> new games and exciting things to do. So this was yeah. super fun. Thank you very much for asking me to do it. I had a blast and yeah. I, uh, no you know, problem. I hope everyone's doing well over there and I hope that everyone's doing well at home and taking care of themselves and being safe. And I want to shout out to all of our unbroken peeps. Uh, love you guys. Keep at it.